Amy Jo Johnson and her boyfriend Matt have been writing a new comic book project for Boom Studios, which is basically Mighty Morphing Power Rangers The Return. Go check out my videos talking about this. You know, I've, I've talked about the project and we're going to be talking about this for a little bit while more because, hey, it's actually a cool project. Now, at the time, we saw a female Green Ranger and we were speculating that who it could be. And we knew it was going to be someone linked to uh, Kimberly in the comics. And officially now we have the art of Olivia Hart, which I think is pretty cool. I've done a video on this. Go check it out but I do have a little bit of a problem with it. I will state this again, I have no problem with Jenna whatsoever, but when I see this image of the Green Ranger, I instantly jump to Jenna because I think it looks like Jenna. And this is where it's slightly putting me off. Now to me, I do generally think that this looks like Jenna. And yeah, as I say, I'm not okay with this in a way because I just think it's creepy and weird that you would put Jenna into this situation. When kind of like doing the artwork, I don't know if Amy was working with uh, Nico Leon on this one, or if this was someone completely else. But I feel like they sat down and went, we have to make this look like Jenna. This is what JDF would have wanted. This is what we want. And you know, the fans are gonna love this. And again, most fans do want Jenna and most fans don't want Jenna. It, it's, a, it's a weird thing when it comes down to it. Now, I would have come up with a completely different character design. I think that, yeah, keep it as Olivia Hart, but I would have changed the way that she looks. Just to me, it, it's when seeing the image, it just makes me think of Jenna all the time because it, to me, it looks just like her. I think that you could have changed the character design to look slightly different, either maybe different hair, maybe different facial features. But for this one particular piece of art, it just looks like Jenna to me. And maybe it changes completely and we will see this next year when this comic drops, which again, I'll be reviewing because I'm kind of invested in this because I've been backing the Kickstarter. So definitely invested in this. Now, as I say, I have no problem with Jenna whatsoever. The problem that I have is I feel like this is forcing Jenna to become the Green Ranger. And after talking to a few people in uh, spaces and stuff like that last night on Twitter, someone mentioned uh, in that space, you know, Jenna would become a Power Ranger, but she had to be green. If she wasn't green, then she wouldn't do it at all. And I kind of find that really weird because, you know, you could be more suited for another color. I think it's just because she wants to honor her father and be like, hey, you know, hey, dad, I'm, I'm now the new Green Ranger. And then that's it. And again, like you kind of think that, you know, maybe she's like, I'm a Power Ranger. I don't know. I just find it weird. Again, just find it weird. I also wanted to make another point in this video, which when I kind of saw this straight off the bat on Twitter, my instant thought went straight to what Bat, bat in the Sun said, mainly Aaron. And he said that JDF and himself went to Boom, they went to Hasbro, they went to Saban, or I think it was mainly Saban, but mainly Boom. And they mentioned that the story of Kimberly and Tommy having a child, which is obviously that was Jenna, that she goes around and she gains the candle wax, the you know, and then becomes the Green Ranger. And my instant thought when I saw this was, bam, that, that instant story. Now, again, we don't know until next year, which if this is all true, then obviously Bat in the Sun were right and Boom Studios took their idea and probably slightly changed it. But it's an interesting topic because if they have done that, what else have they done to other people over time that have given ideas? And obviously, Boom Studios can't take certain elements from fans, etc., etc. So this is going to be a very interesting story to kind of follow. This is going to be a slow burner, but again, I kind of really want to know where they're going with this. Amy did come up and say that they are thinking of an original idea. This isn't anything to do with um, the story by JDF and Aaron. So again, for me personally, I'm gonna be, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens because obviously the story that Aaron and that has said has been out first. So let's see what happens when Mighty Morphin Power Rangers The Return. With seeing this, it could be a completely similar storyline or something that's completely different. I'm very much invested. I really do want to see what kind of happens next. Coming to the end of the video, in closing, I did have high hopes for this. I really did. When I saw this, it made me kind of go, oh, 
oh, I hope they're not doing that storyline. You know, this does look like Jenna, and I do feel like this is a weird thing to kind of put in. I still find it weird and creepy. It could be that, you know, Olivia fights with Tommy one last time side by side to take down the big evil to do that. And I feel like if Amy's saying, like, you know, this is my last thing to JDF, I think that maybe JDF would have gone, I would like an original story. Again, I don't know. Like, maybe he would have wanted his story to be there so that Jenna could have become the official Green Ranger or the next one in this comic book. But I might now imagine that, you know, Olivia could cross over to other... I'm now thinking that maybe Olivia will come across, but also this does open up some other problems that I've already started seeing online, but we're going to talk about that in another video. Either way, I'm still supporting this. I'm not going to be lowering my kickstarter down i generally did tweet that out last night but thinking about it now i'm still going to help support this because i still want to see how it is the artwork looks absolutely fantastic the hardback covers is something that i really really want so yeah i am going to be carrying on and keeping my kickstarter up where it is and yeah like you know, not unless something massively happens to make me hate this comic book i'm still liking the story i still want to see what it is the kind of the stuff that we saw in the 30th anniversary cover makes me kind of really want to read this still. So it's kind of like it has caught my interest and I do want it. I've just found out now that Power Rangers Pink, an all new version or something like that, is going to be in the back. And that was one comic book that I really didn't like. It was it was bad. It was really bad. But again, we'll see see what it's like. I have some more videos on this, which I think will shock a few people. But I generally kind of thought about this and some people kind of agreed with me that it could go down this line or that it wouldn't be that surprising. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. What are your thoughts? Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you very much for listening and watching. If you want to help out the channel, like, comment and subscribe. And why not check out the Patreon as well? as the channel memberships. Thank you very much for listening and watching and I'll catch you in the next video. I want to say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters and I wanted to shout out Kimona Cat, Kira Sonata, Micah Baldwin. Your help goes a long way to help support the channel and if you want to help support the channel, the links to my Patreon and channel memberships are listed below in the description. Ara ara. Channel wo support shite kurete arigatou gozaimasu. チャンネル登録、高評価お願いします。以下のリンクから商品を入手することができます。